Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com. Today we're finishing up our compositional study series with part three where we're talking about the golden mean, also called the golden proportion, and the rule of thirds. This image that you're looking at here is by Leonardo da Vinci and he uses the golden mean. Well, what is the golden mean? Well, the golden mean is a mathematical ratio. And basically it says that C, which is A plus B, is proportional to A the same way A is to B. Now, how can we use this in our artworks? Well, we can use it when we crop our picture planes in one way, but we can also use it when we determine the position of subjects or objects in our artwork. Here's the image that we just saw by Leonardo da Vinci. And you can see the way he placed objects on here is relative to the golden mean. Now, if we use the golden mean to split up our picture plane, like seen here, we create what, what is called golden points. Now, golden points are places in our picture plane where we can place important subjects. Okay, So we can use the golden mean not only to crop our picture plane, but also to determine where we're going to place subjects. Now, let's look at three pieces of artwork and see if you can determine which one uses the golden mean. Here's the first image. Here's the second composition. And here's the third. Looking back at our graph of the golden points, did any of those compositions seem like they used the golden points? It wasn't the first one. The first one placed the subject matter dead center. That's not a very good composition for the subject matter. The second one put the subject matter to the far right, which made it heavy on the right. If you said the third one, you were correct. The third one made use of the bottom right golden point that was created by using the golden mean. Here it is in a graph. The golden point is created by using the golden ratio or the golden mean. Here's our image again, and if we lay on top of it the graph of the golden point, you can see that where the lighthouse meets, meets the horizon line is where the golden point is. This is going to create a more aesthetically pleasing composition. Now, using the golden mean can be a bit complicated because there is some math involved. If it's too much for you, you may choose to use the cousin of the golden mean, or the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is where you take a picture plane and you break it into three. You break it into thirds. This is shown by the graph that's on your screen now. If this was your picture plane and you broke it up to thirds, you'd have something like that. Now let's look at a composition. Here's a silhouette of a tree, and there's a horizon line. This image uses the rule of thirds to create the composition. Obviously, this is not a finished piece of artwork. Instead, it's just here to show you the rule of thirds. If we take the graph of the rule of thirds that we had before and lay it over the top, you can see that the tree is on the, the left third, and the horizon line is on the bottom third. And these objects are placed there to create a more aesthetically pleasing composition. So, you can use the golden mean, you can use the rule of thirds, all to create a better composition, a more aesthetically pleasing composition. This has been another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com.